Shalom. Call Halayim La Yahawa. Bahashem. Yahaw Shah Bahashem. Kakodash. Double honor to the elders and apostles, great millstone, who rule and teach well. Sister Shalom to 144,000 and one third. Now, this breaking news U.S. led coalition of 10 nations to counter Houthi attacks on vessels in the Red Sea. And the Houthi is in the, resides in the country of Yemen, and they have declared war against the Israelis. And this coalition of 10 nations, which I believe every last one of them, Edomite nations, let me see the list real quick. If it shows it. One of them is like Spain. Uh, say, say Chile's. I don't know if this article had lists all, all the nations that are gathered to come against Yemen. But they're all pretty much Edomite nations. Gearing up. Oh, here it goes right here. The UK, Bahrain, if I'm pronouncing that right, Canada, France, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, say Chile's, and Spain with the U.S. That's 10. In the new mission, Austin announced some of the countries will conduct joint patrols while others provide intelligence support on the Southern Red Sea and the Gulf of Eden. Aden. Iran backed Houthi rebels have escalated attacks on tankers, cargo ships, and other vessels in the Red Sea, imperiling a transit route that carries up to 12% of global trade. 12% of global trade is getting hurt because the, the, the route is finna change. The route is finna go around Africa. The route originally cuts through Asia and Africa, and now it's finna go all the way around uh, Africa. Basically through the Atlantic Ocean. This is a big deal because that 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 is going to uh, seen uh, the what they were going into it. It is going to um. It is going to increase uh, pretty much increase the route. How much it it'll cost, like the consumption by forty percent. Let me get the exact uh, phrase used. For that, if I can find it again. All right, here, here, here it goes. Red Sea is now largely closed to traffic. That's 8.8 .8 million BPD of daily oil transit, and nearly 380 million tons of daily cargo transit. Global traffic will now be rerouted around Cape of Good Hope, which is South Africa, adding 40 percent to voyage distance. And even more to cost. So things are about to increase pretty much worldwide, but mainly to these Edomite nations, Europe. And these heathen are um are getting ready to pounce on Babylon the Great. Because this is the, the, the will of the Heavenly Father. This is not the will of man. You see, th these heathens think that is in their mind to pull these things off when the Heavenly Father has 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 declared this from the beginning. From the beginning, the Heavenly Father uh, declared these things. Let's get the scripture on that. This is Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the former things of old. For I am the Most High and there is none else. I am the Most High and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning. I mean, that, that is a very powerful thing to say. It's so simple but so powerful. You declared the end when it begun. That is very powerful. And that's the power that that has chosen the children of Israel. That's why the children of uh, Jacob's name was changed to what? Israel, Yasharela. He is a prince of power. This is Joel 3 and 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men war of war draw near. Let them come up. And we and we see this. This is a coalition. This reminds me uh, of this comic book where it talked about the coalition of planets and a coalition of planets in this comic book. I think it was called Invincible. In this in this in this coalition of planets, they came together to stop this this race called the Voltramites. 
And the Voltramites basically represents you damn devils, all right? You Edomites. And, and this, this, this coalition came together to take them down because of their tyrannical, uh, unrighteous rule, all right? That they was uh, putting on the, um, I don't know, galaxies or whatever um, that was going on. And this coalition of Edomites to try to prop up uh, white supremacy and it's not going to work. First and foremost, these nations are going to turn against Babylon the Great. Let's get that. Something's going to happen. This is um, Revelation 17 and 16. And the ten horns, which is going to NATO and EU, which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So um, these nations that are still aligned with Babylon are great. All right. They are going to turn. Something's going to happen. And they're going to turn against Babylon. And, and, and these heathen are going to turn against the Edomites. And Edomites are turning against themselves. So Esau is completely consumed on all ends. This is Obadiah 1. And let me see, Obadiah 1 and 7. All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. So these nations are got, got the, the Edomite, the Heavenly Father, got these nations having Esau in a trick bag. In a trick bag. And these, these Edomites don't even understand it because they're puffed up with pride. Completely puffed up with, with pride. That's why they can't see it. All right, let's get that scripture on that. I think it was, go back to Obadiah. <clears throat> Obadiah chapter 1. Only chapter in Obadiah is 1. And let me see. In 3. The pride, the pride, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee. All right. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, which is his mind, who shall bring me down to the ground? So these Edomites think they're going to dwell forever. And it's and unfortunately is not. They're not. Right. Fortunately, I should say. Fortunately, they're not. And that's it. Quick little lesson. Things are heating up. I don't want to rock the Zao. It's edifying. Shalom.